wedding ceremony. But the city is facing more controversy involving its famed Seine River. There have been some serious doubts about the River Seine. Which... If there are high levels of E. coli and enterococci suggesting the water is unsafe. We're working on cleaning up the River Seine, but a sewer problem last summer canceled a pre-Olympic swimming event. Safety of the water in the Seine River. In competitive events in the River Seine. Now... Will the river be safe to swim in? Okay, I'm actually kind of tired of hearing about the water quality of the Seine River leading up to the Paris Olympics and not knowing the underlying numbers that we're actually referencing here. Now, if you haven't heard about this, the Seine River that curves through Paris next to the Eiffel Tower and around the Notre Dame Cathedral, maybe the world's most scenic and romantic river, is full of human excrement. And it has been for a long time. In fact, because of human contamination, it's actually been illegal to swim in the Seine River since 1923. And back in the 1970s, it was estimated that about 60% of all urban sewage flowed directly into the river untreated. But here we are with the Olympics starting in just two weeks, where the opening ceremony, three Olympic triathlon races, and two marathon swimming events are scheduled to take place in Paris's most disgusting river. So I'm super curious, are these races actually going to happen? What has the city of Paris been doing about the water quality? And what does the actual data look like? Because ultimately, we kind of want to know, are the world's best Olympic athletes going to be swimming through poop water at the Paris Olympics? So Paris actually hosted the Olympics in the summer of 1900, and then again in 1924. In the 1900 Olympic Games, the Seine River was the location for rowing, swimming, and water polo events. In fact, this was the only Olympic Games in history to include a 200 meter swimming obstacle race and an underwater swimming event. Now, I actually have my doubts as to the cleanliness of the water, even as far back as this 1900 Olympic Games. Uh, but Paris made it official in 1923 when they made it illegal to swim in the Seine River. But despite several historians who have called the Seine an open sewer, the water quality of this river has actually improved. Back in the 1970s, the number of fish species was measured at three. But here in the early 2020s, the number of fish species near Paris has actually rebounded to about 32. Okay, so more fish species is probably a good indicator of better water quality. But you know what else would be a good indicator of better water quality? Just lack of poop. Like, lack of poop in the river, that'd be nice. So E. coli is a bacteria that normally lives in the intestines of healthy humans, or really all warm-blooded animals, and scientists use it as a measurement of E. coli expressed as the number of colony-forming units, or CFU, per 100 milliliters. And that's a good indicator for the presence of fecal material in water. In the United States, the criteria is set at 126 CFU per 100 milliliter, but the European standards to determine acceptable water quality to swim in is set at 900 CFU per 100 milliliter. And the World Triathlon Organization uses the same standards as the European standards. Okay, so how bad are we talking about here? Well, in late February, samples were collected near where the Olympic triathlon would be held, near the uh, Pont Alexander Trois Bridge. Uh, showing an average of 20,000 CFU E. coli per 100 milliliters, or over 20 times the World Triathlon Safety Standards. So what the hell is going on here? Why is the water quality of this particular river so bad? Well, one of the main issues is due to Paris's single system drainage that dates back to the 19th century, where street runoff and sewage run into the same drainage pipes, and the entire system relies on gravity to direct wastewater downstream and out to the treatment facilities. The problem tends to come up after an increase in rain volume, when the drainage pipes and the treatment facilities are bit overwhelmed. And that mixture of dirty rainwater mixed with human sewage is diverted into the Seine River to prevent it from flooding up and onto the streets. Okay, so February wasn't great, 
Uh, but Paris is actually working on cleaning up this river, right? Uh, absolutely. Uh, Paris Mayor Annie Hidalgo was actually the first one to put forth this idea of having the Olympic competitions in the Seine. And then after the Olympics, the idea is to have spots along the river for Parisians to swim in the river itself. And since winning the bid to host the Olympics, Paris has been investing roughly 2.25 billion euros in cleaning up the Seine River. And a massive part of this cleanup, or about one and a half billion euros, have been spent building this reservoir construction project called the Austerlitz Wastewater and Rainwater Storage Basin. It's located beneath the Austerlitz train station at the Seine River's left bank. And this massive water storage basin can handle up to 13.2 million gallons of water. That's equivalent to about 20 Olympic-sized swimming pools. And the idea is to store water here instead of diverting it out to the Seine River when there is an excessive amount of rain in the city. Other than this new water basin, Paris has also been working to connect houseboats and older homes to existing sewer systems as opposed to them using the river, and then they're upgrading the wastewater treatment plant and adding small amounts of performic acid to the wastewater, which can actually reduce harmful fecal bacteria levels. And don't worry, uh, Mayor Anne Hidalgo has agreed to put her money where her mouth is, or uh, maybe we should say uh, her, her mouth where all of the French money has gone. Uh, either way, uh, both her and President Emmanuel Macron have said that they were going to take a dip in the Seine River on June 23rd. Sadly, June 23rd came and went, and their swimming event was postponed due to heavy rainfall, and they postponed it until June 30th, which was again postponed until July 11th, after the French elections. And then real quick update, like literally as I'm publishing this video, uh, today the mayor of Paris did actually swim in the Seine River, which is awesome. But there's also this odd poop protest where someone actually built an app that timed when and where people could poop in the river and have the poop hit the actual politicians right as they planned to dive into the river. Uh, Parisians were, were angry about just how much money was being spent to actually clean up the Seine River. Uh, but now that we're getting closer to the actual Olympics, I like to think that the water quality is getting better. Well, theoretically, in the summer, as in right now, we can expect less rain and less need to divert urban sewage into the sin. Looking at the June numbers, uh, yeah, yeah, it's better, I guess. Uh, definitely better than February. Uh, results taken from samples from June 10th through June 16th were showing E. coli to be about twice as high as the acceptable number. Here, I actually put together a chart showing some of the, the latest water testing starting in June. And I should also say that these tests are done in four different locations along the Seine, uh, with the center locations kind of being where they're actually going to host the Olympic swimming events. Uh, and these charts, they're looking at uh, CFU of E. coli, but they're also testing for Enterococcus, which is another bacteria that's a good indicator of fecal material in water. And this is the most up-to-date data that I could actually find as of the recording of this video. And looking at this, uh, it does look like things are trending better, which I think is good because as of right now, the Olympic Organizing Committee doesn't actually have any sort of alternative swim venue, which I feel like is absolutely crazy. Uh, they do have a few options when it comes to alternatives. Uh, for the triathlon, they can actually cancel the swim and turn it into a duathlon. Personally, I don't, I don't love that idea for the Olympics. I really think that that changes the whole sport, uh, but we have seen that done before in the past and it is an option. Uh, but that doesn't exactly work for something like the marathon swimming events, which race a 10K in the open water. Now the World Aquatic 
in world triathlon organizations do have the option to delay any of these swimming events or postpone these races further out into the Olympic schedule. Currently, these races are scheduled to start on July 30th, but the Olympic closing ceremony isn't until August 11th. So maybe there's some wiggle room in there that might allow for the river to clear if we do have a spike in bad water quality. Or maybe these Olympians are just gonna be swimming through poop. What do you guys think? Are any of you guys gonna tune in and watch any of these races? Uh, are any of you guys actually gonna be there? That would be super, super amazing to see. Uh, I'm really excited to watch all of these races. Uh, but either way, I do hope that you're getting out there, maybe finding some uh, clean water to swim in in these summer months, and we will see you guys on the next one.